Folks, uh, look at how good of a deal it is. I mean, can you beat this in terms of price, of cost? No. But that's exactly what uh, Novom is. So, say Slovenian director, the postal office, the postal office stated me, will do to me when I will be doing exactly what you see here. We'll get something like a really good deal on something. It will be exactly Slovenian postal office that will reject the deal that will afterwards travel back to China. In this case, we have a really good deals here. And I took time to sort them out. I really took time to find them something to find something what Slovenian police advertised way before AliExpress even existed. Um, on behalf of whom they had done this, it's not difficult to tell because this is a Schengen area. Suppose this is like a safe area, like the best of Europe have to offer security safety wise. Uh, when indeed is clear that European Union partners from Berlin, from, well, London escaped through the Brexit out, uh, but yeah, Paris, Rome, uh, Warsaw, it, it was like it's uniting everything under the one roof, right? It does, it does, uh, it does. On behalf of Washington, D.C., it actually does. This is supposed to be, I think, like a 64, right? 64 watt. I don't know. It's like crazy, crazy beautiful price I got myself. And check this out. Like you wouldn't believe specifications. 40 watt, this one. It was like really, really nice. But not... Not good enough. Uh, Slovenian police that tortured in front of the computer for 20 years on what to buy, even from what was actually 25 years, even from what was non-existing, will be in the future AliExpress. They have done the same thing through the with the eBay. Advertise me the products, uh, watches, and so on. Uh, and made orders which deliveries after a usage, they destroy items, they saved on the side for the time when I would make deliveries. We have gone through that stuff already because everything that came through the package, through the mail services, almost everything, about 90% of it was either already destroyed, used, uh, at least used, new, not. 10% maybe is that arrived through the postal services that was new. And so I realized that Slovenian police used literally AliExpress, uh, what would be in the future, that's what destroying absolutely everything, annihilating personal property, devastating property, uh, trespassing, unauthorized, burglarizing, vandalizing of personal property in my absence, was used for, basically, to literally enforce through the domestic and outside of the house violence A 52 years old genocide, a 52 years of psychiatric violence against me, which refuge I would take with really unhealthy food at times, more than not oftentimes, joining myself in a sorrow, in abuse, eating myself out. And also, as you would go, I would go and browse eBay or AliExpress, but it appears like it was all designed to create mental illness. Because imagine that you search and you want to buy and you don't have the money, they keep you blacklisted. They don't even allow you to come to the social service to correct unemployment. Not forget about collect unemployment, but to report yourself 
for as a job searcher. They don't even allow you to come to the physician, to a doctor, to use medical services. Because in 2013, I was labeled as a paranoid schizophrenic and told that if you would go, if you'd come to the physician ever again, the only thing that's going to happen is going to be the phone to the psychiatric hospital in Ljubljana Polje from within which a court trial process would be triggered against you to get you hospitalized. So this is really fucking nice, wasting time on the internet all for nothing, actually even to make myself mentally ill. And visiting postal office, local postal office of Novo Mesto. Let me demonstrate this postal office of the Novo Mesto. All the postal workers were involved in it, without any exception. I'm talking about my being delivered even at four o'clock in the morning, not absolutely at five, in, five o'clock in the morning by the police, by the local police, oftentimes by the neighbor, Method Yerman, who participated along other police investigators to this location here, which says Posta Slovenia. This is here Maribor. It doesn't have anything to do with the Maribor. This is Novo Mesto. Right at this location. Not that Maribor is any better place or something like that or safer or anything like this. It's not in the fucking wildest dreams, I would say that. But at this place here, this is a Posta Novo Mesto here, which you see. And tortured what used to be two hours. I think they used to open at two o'clock. Two, three hours at seven o'clock in the morning, excuse me. Two, three hours before they opened the office by the employees, by individual who stated to me that she would actually go ahead and do something, probably is the lady, uh, and declined to accept even postal services to me, actually the right to use postal services, you know, posta restante, postno legeche, uh, deliver at the postal office and leave there under my name. Uh, that is something that uh, it, it, it actually goes into the rights. At the entrance of this building, there is a European law enforced here where it states uh, no cameras, nothing allowed in there. This is like fucking terrorist policy. What the fuck are you afraid of the cameras for? You're public employees. You're actually servants of the public, aren't you? Or what the fuck are you? This question is directed at the Brussels. This question is directed at, at ECHR, H, European Court for Human Rights, E C H R in Strasbourg, is located in France. What the fuck are you? Are you running some kind of a special services here that people cannot even video record the packages that are being delivered to them? This is the location I was tortured two to three hours on a frequent basis by the Slovenian police, by the Novo Mesto police, literally. Whenever the MKHO went on, the beginning, 1995 to be exact, 1995, maybe even 1994, before I immigrated to the United States, probably 1994. Right here, delivered right there, inside, and torture commenced. You know, you like to get the sleep, eight hours of sleep. There was no fucking sleep. I would be delivered to the place, and this is basically what it would go on. Uh, throughout MKUltra sessions, other people would go sleep. I would be delivered instead in the morning, when then I would go through to visit this place with the police, and this is how it would roll uh, about deliveries and uh, what better way then let's first to take the date and time. You know, start with this. You can see what the date, what the time, 
uh, it's not going to make any essential difference. It's just going to expose more Slovenian corruption. Uh, I don't expect any of these items here, these items, to arrive anytime soon. Uh, I don't think so. Uh, but I do expect this package here. And... clearly can be seen, traced from this multi-package that it was a fast delivery that uh, AliExpress used. Delivery was completed within just a really, really, very short period. Um, however, upon clearing one, even at the Slovenian customs on November the 30th of 2023. Um, that was in Ljubljana, in a capital of 2 million Republic Slovenia, uh, country Slovenia. Uh, they did not manage, and I'm talking about the Slovenian Postal Services, to deliver the package from Ljubljana, from the customs, to the postal office in the city of the Novo Mesto since. And so today is the December the 6th, 2023, and you can see it still was not delivered from Ljubljana to the Novo Mesto city. So I know that this is totally fucked up. Uh, wrong, wrong wrong, wrong. Uh, it's just 70, maybe 80 kilometers from Novo Mesto they are located at and did not manage to ship this to the Novo Mesto. This is bizarre. This really, really is bizarre. But this is basically the way it is. This is one issue I have a problem with already. Now I am going to go ahead and we'll log out of this account and we'll log into another account. And we'll see exactly what is in it for me in that other account. Because on Friday, again, I was at the postal office and nothing, you know, excuse me, when I said Friday, Monday, again, I was uh, on Monday, this Monday, I was at the postal office again, that's two days ago, and there's nothing, really, really nothing for me. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use this account. Hopefully this is the one. This is the one. Not a good stuff. We're going to use this one and we're going to look into this account to see what is it, what is in it for me. Um, so as I go through this one here, uh, if I do have something that, like this one here, definitely should be here. It was ordered on November the 14th, 2023. That's a long time ago because these are speedy deliveries. Uh, it says here, delivery attempt unsuccessful. Wow. I don't understand what exactly that means. So it was delivered to the city of the Novo Mesto from the Slovenian customs. And it appears that in the city of the Novo Mesto, they rejected it, I suppose. So now we have the issue. Um... Now we have a really, really crazy issue here. Uh, it's actually concerning the postal office in the city of the Novo Mesto that appears have rejected the order from China. So I think this is bizarre, don't you think so? I mean, that you have a postal workers that are not accepting and are rejecting the deliveries from me right here in my city in Novo Mesto. So he comes all the way from China, all the way to Novo Mesto, and that's where the postal worker at the postal office decides 
whether he would receive, accept the package, or simply reject one. So I think this is crazy, disgusting, uh, but not really. It's not. It's not crazy. It's not disgusting. It's, um, it's well coordinated. It's not stupid. This stuff is not stupid because this is how you kill an individual. You know, cholesterol is a killer, a hypertension and cholesterol. When you anger somebody constantly, causing one to stress, it's a killer. Eventually you can kill a person if you do a crown of torture on an individual. MK Ultra torture, MK Ultra butchery. That's why I said it's about MK Ultra butchery, it's not about torture. Because when you go and you cause such a harm, to a person that is, and, and you, you and you continue to stress one, eventually you get, you kill one, definitely. You definitely get, sooner or later, that person drops dead. It's not stupid. They know exactly what they're doing. It's not assistance to me. It's assistance to themselves because their job, their task right now is to cause as much as physical damage as possible. They're causing physical damage. They're not causing only emotional, psychological, but they're causing physical, literally physical damage at this point. They know what they are doing. Very good. They're not stupid. It's not coincidence. They presented to me this stuff like it's going to be like a favor. It's not a favor. Thanks for watching this video. I am going to go ahead and take one more time on opportunity, date and time. Date, time, and it's what you see right there is the date and time. So there is no hurry. 